guys, welcome back to my show. Oh, what is the theme of today? So pretty, like seriously. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because I got some stuff from ColourPop and I want to show it to you guys. I want to play with it. I just want to like really get into it. I'm very, very excited. And I do want to do like a cute little look for you guys. So that's why I have my face done except for my eyes and my lips. So I do have a look in mind. Hopefully I can do that. But let's just go ahead and get right into what I got. So first of all, this is the box that it comes in. When you open it up, it has all this um, bubble wrap and yes. It is ColourPop. I mean, ColourPop comes out with such cute, cute things. I mean, their themes are really nice and their colors are so pretty. So I wanted to do something more on the colorful side. So I definitely got some stuff that I'm so excited to try out for you guys. So let's get into it. I actually forgot that I got this, but um, I actually got a freckle pen. Now, um, I normally don't have freckles, so I kind of wanted to mimic some freckles. I have done a video where I did do some freckles on my face, and that was like just using brown um, uh, paint pod kind of um, liner. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link to it up here. It was a really, really cute um, look. So check that out. But I do want to try this and see how this looks on me. So I will do that. Next, I got a palette. It is their Fade Into Hue palette. I know people have seen it all over Instagram. I mean, it just has so many pretty colors. This is so beautiful. I love this. And it, I just, I, I want to keep the box. Like, that's how pretty it is. And these are pressed powder palette. All right, so that's the packaging. Like I said, so beautiful. And it's like a beautiful matte um, package. It is so, so pretty. Um, the colors are gorgeous. Like, okay, so of course you have like little plastic. Oh, I got two plastics. Am I supposed to? Um, but, ah, look at these colors. They're so so pretty so beautiful I mean come on look at all those colors so I had to move in a little closer because like, I mean look at that and look at these these look like they're glitters up here this makes me so happy like you guys have no idea how happy this makes me and I know I do have the Morphe palette that does have all these colors and I still truly truly love that palette and um, that was one of my first videos so if you haven't seen that I will leave a link to it up here you know me I like to show you all the videos I have just like to let you know because I have so many of them so go check them out you know um, but yeah like look how pretty this is and I like like the size of it I think it's like a very decent size I don't want to swatch all of it for you because I mean that's gonna take me just forever and I do have other things I want to show you let me just go ahead and swatch some for you right now <laughs> so pretty jeez what do I want what do I want they all look so pretty um all right let's just go with the first color right here which is called fantasy land which is this beautiful mm -hmm. color right there oh that is so pretty let's go into retro dream I mean it's really hard to choose which one I want to show you guys <gasps> I mean, I feel like that's all you're going to keep hearing from me today. Oh, let's go into pose. In the same kind. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, the swatching is just... Oh, I got some of the Express, which is this lavender right here, which I love. Like, oh, that is beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. I love it. All right, so I'm going to move the Express and I'm gonna move it to the other hand, um, right down here. My finger also uh, went into this purple right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try that. Wow, it is so pigmented, you guys. I'm just like getting colors all over myself. So that one is this um, corally, red one which is um, paradise let's go into that one that's all you're gonna hear oh my god that's so pretty that is so pretty all right let's go into some of these glitters um, the one that's really really coming out on me is this lucky charm color right here what how 
pretty. Wow, it's just like straight up glitter. I'm like rethinking my look right now. Let's go into Kaleidoscope right here, which is the blue glitter. Ah, I love glitters, I love glitters. Let's put that right here. I mean, I'm done. I am so done right now. That's like a purpley blue. Can you guys see that? Do you guys see? how beautiful that is. Like, I'm just happy with just those two. I mean, I love all the colors, but just those two, I just love. That is gorgeous. There's also Prismatic, that's also the next glitter I think they have here. Like what? I Okay, so I like sparkly things, I like glitter, so I think this is like giving me life right now. Let's do this yellow right here. I love this yellow. Very, very, very pigmented. That is gorgeous. Um, I don't want to get this palette dirty, but I feel like I'm going to. Oh, and that's like on my brown skin. Look at that. Yeah, you need to go into it twice, but that is pretty much like the color. Can it get better than that? And just a tad bit, okay? Or just as good. So the next thing I have are, oh my god, I wanted these so badly. First of all, look at the cute pouch it comes in. And it says, Color Me Obsessed. And these are Cream Gel Liner Roll. So it does come in like this little pouch roll kind of a thing. And you just unwind it, adorable. And look at that. I mean, you get a nice range, a rainbow of colors. I was all about colors for this purchase. Um, I really can't wait to go into this. I am a lover of putting color on my bottom lid. I love it because I feel like it always like amps up a look. So I am so excited for this, but I just want to see how it works as well. Um, I think I'm going to go into this blue right here. Such a pretty blue. And I don't know if these have names. Yes, this is Prance. Um, and it is a gel liner, so I do like how the tip of it looks and everything. So let's just give it a nice little, oh, that is pigmented, that is nice. That is really, really nice. Let's try this mint color right here. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, color pop, I love you. That is so pretty. I'm trying to do like the lighter colors to see how they all show up because that's what I'm like most excited for. That's pretty. So it's like really not in any order, obviously. These are so nice, you guys. Like I can't wait to do like the look already. And that's the yellow. Yeah, that is white. Like I don't know if you can, I can tell here. I mean, the yellow is very faint. I wish the yellow was just a little bit more yellow, but it's not bad. Ooh, there's the lavender. Oh, that's a pretty lavender. Purple. See, I like this because these color, the colors are so vibrant. And the formula is very creamy. Oh, that's a beautiful maroon. And this is like a wine color. So this is called Charmer. And that's the last one. Oh, yes, yes. These are all of them. How beautiful. And last but not least, mm, this is the thing that I was the most excited for. I mean, you think the others are exciting? This is exciting. Actually, they're all equally exciting. Last but not least, I got Glitter Hour. There was another glitter one that I wanted to get, but they were sold out. They get sold out really quick, and they have such really, really pretty stuff. But this is called Glitter Hour, and it's all these glitter um, shadows. And um, yeah. These are beautiful, the colors. Let, you know what, let's just go right into them. So you get nine uh, shadows. So this is called Homecoming. So these are what it looks like. They're like beautiful, like iridescent. I mean, oh my gosh, so pretty. Like look at that, how gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I just want to put this all over my lid. I feel like I need to probably do it here. This one is That's Hot, and this has like bigger and smaller um, 
uh, glitters, they're all going to end up looking like the same towards the end, I feel like. Alright, so this one is called Grand Prize, and it is like more like a yellow. Ooh, it's like a yellowy, green-ish yellow. Can you guys even tell a difference? I mean, I can. This is more pink, this is more yellow, but like, look at how it's shining. And I'm putting them like so next to each other. And yeah, I'm just gonna have like a handful of glitter. This one is called Love Language. And it is this pretty, pretty pink one. Oh my gosh, there are little hearts on there. Little heart glitters. Oh gosh, how cute. It, this one is called After Party. Mm, pink and like that blue. This one is called Fresher Than You. Very like mermaidy. Like that's really how I can describe this. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. I do not regret buying this whatsoever. It's like a mermaid. This one is called Break the Ice. Ooh la la, if that's a little different because it gives you a little bit more like not just glitter. It's like, it's just, it's just everything. It's everything. This is called Roller Disco. And last but not least, we have Halo at Me and I love Halo. This looks like like crushed glitter amazingness. Don't even know how to explain this. It has little, um, like, uh, thunderbolts in it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, these right here are little thunderbolts. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, look at all those glitters. Like, the amount of looks you can do with all of this. I just want to put it on my lid, call it a day. So much glitter. All right, so let me go wipe this off and I'll all right, I'm back. I probably have some glitter on my hair and um, on my hands, but surprisingly, they washed off pretty good. Like they weren't like stuck on their like glue. So I like that, like they weren't difficult. I love everything I got. I mean, ColourPop has a good collection and let me know in the comments below what you guys liked. I mean, I was obsessing over the glitters, but also the palette is pretty, the liner is pretty. But um, I think right now all I want to do is get into a look for you guys and create something cute with this look. All right. So um, I want to do like a colorful look for you, um, something really, really pretty. I do want to mimic a little bit of a wing for you guys, but we'll get there. I want to try this Take It Easel uh, blue right here. It's such a pretty blue and just kind of like put that on my lid. So let's start there. So I'm going to go into it with like a fluffy brush. It does have a little bit of kickback, which I'm okay with. Um, hopefully it's not too, too much. And just add that onto my lid. Let's see how pigmented it is. And I feel like I need to really like put like some color on my lid for that to show. So I'm just packing it onto my lid. Oh, look at that color. Let's see if there's any fallout because I do have a full face on. So we will see. And I'm taking that a little bit into my crease as well. But I'm not taking it too far back there. Oh, this color, you guys, is just so pretty. Okay, so now I think I want to add a little bit of a purple. So I'm going to go into this um, color Selfie, which is like this lavender-y purple. Go into kind of like my middle-ish, half of my middle to like a little bit more on the end. It's very spring, like I can't wait to use this in the spring. And then I'm gonna use that to just kind of brush it to kind of fade it away. So I don't wanna lose the blue, I do like how the purple looks. Since I don't wanna lose the blue, I'm going back into the blue that I was using earlier. I'm gonna go into that fluffy brush again and brush it kind of like making it a little bit more pigmented, kind of in the front and just fading a little bit where the purple starts. And I think I might want to put a little bit of glitter, so I definitely want that blue to show a little bit more. 
So now I'm gonna take this angled brush right here. I'm gonna go into um, Iconic, which is that really, really pretty shocking blue right there. I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing. So I'm gonna just stamp it first. And like do like a little bit of a liner. So I'm basically taking a little bit of a wing right here and then I'm gonna fade that right up to here. Like that's really all I wanted. Because I want that to be a little bit more dramatic, I'm going to literally like brush it. I feel like I'm using the wrong brush for that. And so that it does fill up my crease just a little bit. I'm gonna take like a more dense flat brush, a little bit bigger, and just kind of um, blend it in. There's no product on here. And just kind of like blend it in so it's not like so harsh yet. And I'm gonna kind of just build that up. And I'm taking that, I'm taking that brush with the blue just to like kind of blend that in just a little bit. So I'm kind of like mixing the two blues if you can understand that a little bit. Not like too much. I still want it to be a little bit more wing. So I'm gonna go back and make it more wing. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make this like a little bit more blue out here, like a darker blue with like the little bit of wing that I'm doing. So everything kind of like fades in together and there is no like, oh, this is where it starts and this is where it ends, you know? So it looks like I'm like taking away that blue, but then I'm gonna go back into my angled brush and fill in that uh, liner. So it's like there is that blue, but the liner, but it's not as, blue as the liner. So I do have fallout, especially for the blue because I was really like packing that on. So basically I kept fading my um, liner that I did with the blue um, until I got it just a little bit faded. Um, but I didn't really want to pack the blue on because I still wanted that um, wing to be noticeable. Now if I had a darker blue in the palette, I would have just pack this blue on and then go in with my darker blue. So, but I'm trying to use just this palette, so I think we're good. Now I do think I need to add some glitter to my lips because that'll just like really amp up the look. But before I do that, I'm actually going to go into Hot Copic, which is this blue shimmery blue right there. I'm just gonna go into a small dense brush because I really just wanna go into the inner corners with that. And this is actually a, Ooh, this is actually an angled brush. Basically, I'm taking this from my inner corners and I'm bringing it up just a little bit, just so it kind of like blends in. And it like pairs beautifully with that blue that I used earlier. And I'm bringing a little bit of that to the bottom as well. And you want to make sure that it's not harsh and it kind of just like blends in. Like it just kind of just like blends in with the rest of them goes with the flow. Wow, it definitely has like a beautiful mermaidy kind of a feel to it, which I am loving. All right, we're gonna bring this look together, you guys. So I do wanna go into the bottom lid with the blue as well, just to kind of like complete that look. And I'm gonna kind of stop where I um, started that uh, beautiful glowy um, blue. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, Hot Copia and put it, um, like spread it a little bit more, like make it a little bit more vibrant on my bottom lid, just so it's like seen a little bit more, just like that. It's the same color that I used there. And I'm gonna blend it a little bit into that blue. So it's kind of like seamless. So now let's go into our liners, shall we? Um, I'm thinking of taking this really beautiful blue, which is Icebreaker, and I'm going to put that on my bottom liner and see how that looks. Because it's kind of like the color of what I used for my inner corners. Ooh. I think I want to take this color, which is Catsuit, 
and it's more of like a green even though we have no green really on there and I'm gonna put that um, right where the inner corner is and bring a little bit of green into the mix oh no I broke the cream my goodness like going against the shadow it's a little difficult Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, look at that oh that's pretty oh my gosh that is pretty see how it gives it more depth than it does here oh, that's gorgeous. okay so you don't want to open them up too much because they will break on you because you're like tugging but how pretty is that that's really pretty now that we got this far let's go ahead and add some glitter so I'm gonna go in with fresher than you and I'm gonna just take a flat just a plain flat brush like this and just kind of put that um, I'm gonna go from my inner corner out so I'm just gonna take a little bit oh, that looks like a lot. and I'm just gonna go I'm not gonna go all the way into the inner corner I'm just going oh my goodness this is so pretty I feel like a mermaid. The only thing is I feel like it does take the shadow off just a little bit, but it's just so pretty you can't even tell. I feel like you do need it in the inner corner, otherwise it just kind of looks almost incomplete. So let me just add a little bit in the inner corner. Alright, so I have officially gone glitter crazy as you guys can tell. Alright, so this is it for my eyeshadow. So I'm just glad I got to use all three. How pretty is this? And it's gonna look even prettier once I have the lashes in you guys, I promise. I know it looks a little bit like bam in your face, but it's because I don't have lashes, so you really can't tell like the full look, you know? Let me put on some lashes, some mascara, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm done with my eyes and my lips. We just have one more thing to go and I really, really, can I just say how much I really like how my eyes turned out. Let me know if you guys like this. But the last thing we have is the freckle pen. I kind of don't want to ruin this look with freckles, but um, let's just do it, you know? I'm going to try this out and see how it is. So it is um, this brown pen and it just makes little, little, little dots, you know? and you can fade it a little bit if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some freckles to my face. All right, so I didn't put too much, just a little bit, just to see how it looks, and it's not bad. But I don't know if this is the look I wanna do freckles on. I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of brush over it. It just has a little bit of powder on here so that can like fade it away just a little bit and um, then I can go in and maybe add just a little bit more. Just a few cute little freckles. It looks cute. Just cute little freckles. Honestly, I feel like um, I would do another look with these freckles, but they still do look nice though. For now, this is the look, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I mean, I love the glitters. I love the eyeliners. I think everything looks so, so pretty. Um, it, it just brightens up my face. I mean, the glitters always do, but I think this is such an amazing palette to have. The only thing I don't like about it is that it does have a lot of kickback, like you have a lot of fallout. So I would definitely um, do your eyes first before you, actually I didn't have too much fallout with the light blue and the lavender. It was more when I was just really going in it with that blue liner look that um, I started noticing more fallout. So um, if you want to do like a more intense eye, I would definitely do the eyes first and then um, do the rest of your makeup or do your makeup if you want to do the foundation and put um, bake underneath so that way all the fallouts come over there and then you can just wipe that away. So either way, I love, love, love this palette. It is gorgeous, like gorgeous. And um, 
I can't wait to play with it more. And I love my liners. The only thing is you can't open them up too much because they will break. Um, so it did break a little bit on me. So keep them kind of like lower in so that it doesn't. It's creamy. It's very creamy. It goes on so nicely. You don't really have to go too much into it. But I had it open a little bit more. And I was really trying to see if I can get it over the eyeshadow. And um, I love the way the green turned out. I love the color on my bottom uh, liner. So, um, and this is such a cute range of colors. Also the glitters. I mean, the colors for these glitters are just amazing. And um, I know some of them look like they're the same, but I feel like you can use them in so many different ways for your lid. Like, I just can't. And on top of that, I love how it washes off. Like, I thought I would really have to scrub in to get the glitter off, but no, it actually washed off. Um, my only thing is like it does get into my crease like it does separate my shadow just a little bit but I'm not mad at the way that it looks right now I wish it kind of didn't so I don't know if I have to use like a um, like a glitter adhesive so it doesn't give me that crease right there so maybe I need to do that I didn't I just went straight into it so maybe it's that but um, the way it looks right now it is just so 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 pretty um, that's just my creasing I need to figure out a way to do that. So if anybody knows, if anybody's worked with these kind of glitters and knows how to prevent it from creasing like that, let me know. But the colors are so pretty. I love the way my eyes look. I love the way the colors turned out. And um, I love the pigmentation. I mean, I am in love with this look. So yeah, definitely let me know if you guys like this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Click that little bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye. Just cute little freckles. I have like cute little freckles on my face. <laughs> the stuff we do, honestly.